My name is Andrew Wold. I'm a Newtown resident. Like all of you, I was horrified at what happened at the Sandy Hook School. Words can't express the sorrow I feel for those who lost loved ones that day. Since that terrible day, all of us are struggling about what to do in the aftermath. A conversation has started about criminal violence, specifically criminal gun violence. Certainly we have a problem with this. Criminal gun violence, the operative word here is criminal. And criminals do not obey the law. Since they do not obey the law, passing more laws by definition cannot help. We have plenty of laws on the books. I am holding here a book that enumerates every state and local gun law in the country. It is a 500 page book printed in small type. Let me say it again, we have enough gun laws. The problem is not guns, it's the criminals who use them. Guns are tools that can be used for good or for evil. I would like to remind everyone here that the United States of America would not exist if it wasn't for military-grade rifles in the hands of brave civilian patriots who sacrificed their time, treasure, and in many cases their lives so we could live free from tyranny. Those patriots were armed with the exact same types of rifles that the soldiers of the tyrant carried. Things might have turned out much differently if those brave civilians had not been armed with rifles comparable to the ones their enemies used. We live in the greatest country on earth thanks to military rifles in the hands of civilians. One of the good citizens who spoke here tonight is from Russia. He spoke eloquently and from the heart, but I would remind him and all of us that the Soviet dictators Lenin and Stalin disarmed their own people before they slaughtered tens of millions of their own people. Here's something Stalin had to say about guns. Quote, if the opposition disarms, well and good. If it refuses to disarm, we shall disarm it ourselves. The only real power comes out of a long rifle. Everyone imposes his own system as far as his army can reach. We don't let them have ideas. Why would we let them have guns? It should go without saying that Stalin did not share these ideas with his people before he disarmed them. It should also go without saying that Stalin had aircraft, artillery, and bombs at his disposal. But he still knew the danger that free citizens, armed with rifles, represented to a tyrant like him. The criminal who committed these crimes in Sandy Hook was a troubled young man with mental health problems. In fact, there's been an epidemic of violence the last decade or so by young people between the ages of 15 and 25. Many of these young people were on legally prescribed psychotropic pharmaceutical meds. These prescription drugs have known published side effects that include violent deranged behavior, especially young people of this under 25 age group. And the key word in that sentence is behavior. We need to stay focused on violent human behavior because no amount of new gun laws will prevent violent behavior. Andrew, can I ask you to wrap up? A few more words, please. I've waited a long time. This is a terrifically emotional time for all of us. Please don't focus on creating new laws that only affect law-abiding citizens. Criminals will never obey a law. Instead, please think about our teenagers and young adults who have mental problems. How can we help them? How can we prevent them from becoming the kind of young person that committed those horrible crimes on December 14th? Thank you. Thank you. Steve, Steve Riley, actor Steve.